Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a little update. I get a lot of questions. It seems that a lot of computers out there are using the uh, Connexent um, audio drivers. And yes, there is still a block on these audio drivers, unfortunately. So um, to know if you're affected, if you don't see the Windows uh, version 2004 or the 20H2, any of the two versions of 2020, you can check out by going uh, right clicking on the start menu going into the device manager and in the device manager you just simply look at the um, section that is sound video and game controllers here you will see your different audio devices if you see connexent ISST or connexent HD audio that is the reason why you have a block. And uh, what they are doing is actually they're working with uh, the uh, company to try to find, uh, because these are made by Synaptics, they're trying to find um, you know, a way to fix these drivers. It's really a driver issue, actually. Now, uh, some of you have asked if you force upgrade, don't do it because um, they've known to be you know, creating all sorts of problems like blue screens uh, or even freezes. Some of you will even have absolutely no audio if you upgrade or force upgrade with a media creation tool. Um, but there are some of you that could actually have a um, blocker removed because it depends on the manufacturer that you actually, your computer is made from. So if you have a brand computer like a Dell, an HP, a Lenovo, an Acer, and you have the Connects and Audio, go to that manufacturer's website. Go to Acer.com or to HP.com or so on. Go and check the drivers from the manufacturer themselves. Maybe they have an updated driver. It seems that some out there have an update to the driver, but they don't know it because you can't use the update process for Windows Update since they are OEM drivers. OEM drivers are separate from the updates that could be pushed through Microsoft's own Windows Update. So go on the manufacturer of your computer, go into the, um, the uh, website's um, um, service uh, and, and check out what is your model number? If you have a, a laptop or a desktop, often there's a little tag on the computer with a number on it. And find your specific model. It's very important to find the correct model of your computer. And once you're there, um, download, check out the, the um, audio driver. Maybe you have an update. If you do, you can download and install that update of the audio driver. And it might actually change everything. You might actually be able to go through it seems that some of you have an update that you just don't know about from the manufacturer. Once you apply it, you see the uh, version 2004 or in 20H2 that appears on the uh, Windows update. So just make sure that you check that. But of course, there's a part of you that, a big, big part of you probably out there that still are blocked. They're still working on the issue. I don't know why it's so long. Um, from what I know is really it's a um, it's a driver issue so it's actually synaptics that has to issue a updated driver to fix this um, and manufacturers are often very slow in updating so that's a big problem but um, until that blocker is removed you you don't you can't move on right now to the next version of Windows if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.